We are in my workshop today, and we are unboxing and assembling the Kitchener Chicken Plucker, 120 volts, one horsepower, 800 watts, 280 RPM. And we're going to see. Never been opened. Well, I guess I opened it before, but they can unpack it. So. So the first thing we see is the how it comes in the box, nice and secure. We'll take out the foamy things. This is our first year with chicken meat chickens, and I got a arm that's got a injury. So hand plucking just didn't seem like a viable option. So let's see. Uh, well. It weighs a ton, so I don't think I'm going to zip it out, so I'm going to have to get a knife and cut it out. Here's what it's going to look like. Follow the instructions. Install part 16, 14, and 10, align and bolt 8, and part 17, and part number 18, thread hole screw them tightly. Well, the instructions are a little less than helpful, so we are going to assume that they want us to assemble the bottom of the chicken puck first. So, figure out how they got all this assembled here. Let's see. Oh, they got little latches on here, so because I better take those off first so I can get the bottom off. Okay. Bing. There's a temporary little carabiner latches here. Oh, careful. Yeah, a little, it was a little, uh, ah, a little um, bendy there. So you gotta be careful with that, apparently. So. Okay. Get that off. Okay. Four parts. And let me do one more. Yep. So there's four little latches. Put that aside. We gotta assemble all the base first, then. 
Great leg with wheel part number 14, leg number 16 with M8 bolt part 17 and part number 18. So now I've got to find the bolts and the nuts here. Okay, here's another little, what is this? Spread the joy, not satisfied. It's like a little, uh, I'm not sure. It's like one of those things you had as a kid, you know, where you open up, you love me, I love you, or you hate me, or kiss, kiss, or kick, or something like that. So, we'll look at that later. So here's the bolt. So I'm assuming there, there are six big bolts, so I'm assuming those would be the parts you need to hook the blades on. Not the best construction, but I'll tell you that. Alright, part 16 and part 18, part of the you. You can tell an engineer designed it, because they didn't talk in, and they never actually tried to assemble it. So here's a hint for all engineers, my brother included, when you're trying to assemble something. You need more than a part A, C, 16, minus D, X, 5, 4, 3, all that stuff. You need a little bit more something. Like 
You got them under washers, what are they for? <laughs> Huh. Huh. Well, I got other washers, but they didn't show me putting washers in here. Flat washer. I got a flat washer and a bowl. Well, there you go. I don't know. So, I'm not sure why they put the other two big round washers in here. Not in the instruction books anywhere. Let me check the back part of this, see if I missed it. No? Number 11, there they are. Yep. They are supposed to go on the inside of the wheel, so I guess I, I, guess I better fix that first. I don't think they're that important. I mean, I look at them and... It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna really matter. I didn't say that. So I just don't think that's gonna really make a big, big difference down there.
roll. Whew, as you can see, I'm a little bit of sweat out here. That's just kind of why I don't live in the South anymore. I love you all that live down there, but this Yankee's got way too much heat. Now, now here's the arrow, I'll show you here. There's that proximity switch arrow. And there's one right here. But they said you have to have perfectly lined up. Now, I'm going to double check the instructions here again. Something's wrong. So, please install the proximity switch, part number 21. Okay. Well, that's interesting because I don't see. Oh, wait. Well, there it is, right there. Well, they already installed it, so I just got to align it perfectly, I guess. Snap it into place. And like I said, it's the one drawback I've seen to the kitchen here. I've seen it on a lot of different people talk about how they couldn't get it to run. Uh-oh. And that it came down to that proximity switch connector. So, it's right here. I got it about as aligned as I think I can get it. There's four latches. Just a one pin. So I've done all the instructions. I got the chicken plucker plate installed. I got the proximity switch aligned. And here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. It's working. Now, that ain't very fast, but it's 280 RPM. So, here's the inside. And here's the switch. Now, the cord's a little short. I think it would be better. I'm going to have to rig up something to kind of hold it up here. So as we're doing chicken and the water's coming down, this ain't laying on the ground. That's a little bit of a weakness. I think they should have designed a little better. But... Voila! So there it is. There's the the assembling of the Kitchener chicken plucker. I think it probably took me. Well, I'm not sure. The video says about nine minutes, but I'm sure it took me longer than that. The camera has a tendency to stop and start when it wants to. Um, hopefully, you caught it all. It took me about I'm going to say a half hour, I maybe less to assemble it. It's real easy, simple tools. Um, that proximity switch, they must have fixed it because it was already installed and easy to go, ready to go. And you plug it in and now I guess next week we will find out how well it does chicken plucking because we're going to be doing our meat chickens next week. We'll be showing videos. Not the whole thing because that's just nobody wants to see all of it. But I will be doing this. I bought this because so far everybody in my family said they won't help me do the meat chickens. <laughs> so. We'll see how that goes next week if I'm doing this. And, uh, well, I hope this gave you some insight. You can see how it box and everything. Um, the only thing I'd say so far that I'm going to fix is the hanging again, is the hanging of this up off the ground. Uh, they should have put like a little hanger or something on their chicken plucker, I would say. Or maybe they don't want to. I don't know. Well, anyways, they have to figure that out. But... All right, thanks for joining me on the unboxing and assembly of the kitchen, kitchener, chicken plucker. Bye.